Ubuntu has always been the most popular of all the children of Debian. With a huge company like Canonical behind it, Ubuntu has been enjoying its status as the number one Linux distro. But a prodigal son has been on the rise, gaining popularity in the Linux community. Yes, I am talking about MX Linux. What's get up, this is Linux Dex. As of today, MX stands in the number 2 spot on DistroWatch. 3 spots ahead of Ubuntu, both of which are based on Debian. So how do they both compare against each other? Which among them is the best? Which among them is more suitable for you? Ubuntu or MX Linux? Let's find out in the battle of the brothers. Jumping in, let's begin with the user interface. Talking about Ubuntu 18.04. Ubuntu has a heavily customized GNOME desktop. The GNOME desktop is customized to look like the traditional Unity desktop of Ubuntu. The workflow is intuitive. Ubuntu developers have an eye for detail and always get every small detail right. Personally, I do feel that the fonts are rendered much more solid in Ubuntu than MX. The theming is gorgeous and a wide range of amazing wallpapers are included by default. MX Linux on the other hand features the lightweight XFC desktop environment but with a twist. The desktop, out of the box, looks like this, with this weird vertical panel on the left. I don't know why. I'm going to make a correction to this before I start the review. Yeah, much better. So MX Linux has a very minimal yet decently functional desktop. The bottom panel is where you control the system from. It houses the menu, workspace switches, the running applications and the system indicators. This system will be very convenient to a lot of users, especially Windows users are going to feel a lot at home with MX Linux. We can see a lot of branding and customization work done. Although the MX desktop is not shiny and glittery like the Ubuntu desktop, it still kinda looks sharp and snappy. But both the desktops are dead opposite to each other in terms of the user experience. I give both the distros a point each as I like both the desktops and it's a rather subjective point. You might like one, I might like the other. You can choose whatever you like. Next, we'll be having a look at the stability of the two operating systems. Ubuntu is based on Debian testing branch. On the other hand, MX Linux is based on Debian stable. So yes, MX Linux is more stable than Ubuntu in a sense. But there's more to it. Debian is ridiculously stable. A stable version of Debian consists of packages that have undergone extensive testing and it cannot just get any more stable. Stability is the prime motto of Debian stable version. Debian doesn't even have a release schedule. A new version of Debian is released only when the developers have an absolute agreement on the impeccable stability of the packages. This is the main reason why professionals trust Debian with their servers. The same goes for MX Linux. The packages are highly stable and the MX system is highly dependable. Ubuntu is a stability focused distro too, but it has newer packages than MX. The packages on Ubuntu are updated more frequently and are generally very stable. Ubuntu is 100% dependable if you do a fresh install and continue to use it as it is. No problems at all. But updating the OS has broken my display drivers, leaving me unable to boot into the OS on multiple occasions. This cannot be overlooked when you are dealing with a stable distro like Ubuntu. So yes, MX Linux wins this round. MX Linux comes with a very lightweight desktop and minimal animations and transitions. Ubuntu is the absolute opposite to this. It comes with a heavy interface full of cool animations and effects. This does make MX Linux feel faster than Ubuntu on older and less powerful systems. The difference is quite clearly visible to us in form of faster app launchers and window responsiveness on MX. Although on heavier tasks and gaming no real performance difference is observed, MX still feels faster when you run it side by side with Ubuntu. So MX Linux wins the performance round. When we are speaking about software availability, I suppose no other distro beats Ubuntu. On MX Linux, you need to install software from the official Debian repositories only. Now although Debian repositories have 51,000 packages, if you need something other than what is officially available, the installation of such software, although possible, is discouraged. Ubuntu overcomes this issue by the use of PPAs. Ubuntu allows certain trusted developers to maintain their own software. You can install them with the help of PPAs. This has led to huge vendor support to Ubuntu. Any software is generally available to be installed on Ubuntu in a fast, reliable, harmonious and a trustworthy way. This is a huge plus point for Ubuntu. Steam officially supports only Ubuntu at the moment, but you can use MX for gaming too. 
Even though MX feels faster than Ubuntu at times, there is no difference in gaming on both these distros. The performance is similar in terms of FPS and quality. Steam and Steam games run great on both these distros. I'll give a point each for both these distros for gaming, as they both are excellent choices for gaming on Linux. Firstly, the Ubuntu community is huge and the number of volunteers on the forums is really impressive. Secondly, Ubuntu has one of the best documentation and any issues you might face are easily solved by following the beginner friendly guides on the Ask Ubuntu forums. The community is very friendly and the solutions are highly accessible and easy to follow. And even if you have a question that is not already answered, community members prove to be very helpful. The community is one of the biggest strengths of Ubuntu. MX Linux has a decent forum and online guides, but it is nowhere comparable to what Ubuntu offers. You can follow the guides written for Debian Stable to repair and install stuff on MX Linux too, as it is basically Debian under the hood. Even the MX forums are good, but Ask Ubuntu is much more organized and detailed. My respect and appreciation for the community members of both these distros for the amazing work they put in, but the point goes to Ubuntu in the community support department. Ubuntu has a really simple and straightforward installation. Even the most complex operations are represented in an easy to understand and beginner friendly way on Ubuntu. You can install Ubuntu in 15 minutes. Ubuntu makes installation as simple as it can get. Now surprisingly, MX Linux 2 has a very easy and quick installation procedure. Unlike Debian, you can try the OS and install it directly from the live boot. The setup is pretty neat and quick. You set up the OS partition and the parameters and the installer does its job. I really love the fact that MX Linux makes the installing of proprietary NVIDIA drivers very easy just like Ubuntu. So both these amazing distros get a point each. Personally speaking, Ubuntu is a great distro with a lot of innovation done over the last decade. But MX has clearly made its camp in the community. The developers know what they are doing and I'm pretty impressed with the overall product that is MX Linux. Both the distros are stronger in different areas and the choice of which distro you want to use depends on your computing needs. But for me, I did feel that MX is ready to replace Ubuntu as my main OS. So yeah, my personal tiebreaker point goes to MX Linux. And so the winner for today is MX Linux. Now it's time for you to hit the subscribe button below if you like this video. I upload Linux stuff a lot so stay tuned. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and your comments are always welcome. Well that's it for today. This is Linux Tech signing out.